Well, hello everyone and welcome to Praise and Play. It's lovely to see you here this morning. So we're going to start by singing our Praise and Play song. So let's sing together. <laughs> Now, the next thing that we're going to do is light our candle. And that is to remember that God is in our heads and God is in our hearts and God is everywhere. So I'll take my matches and light the candle. Got our candle to light. So we're going to have that burning throughout Praise and Play to remember that God is with us. And we are now going to sing Jump Up. So get your voices ready and get your arms and legs ready for the actions. Now, we are going to have our Bible story now, and we are thinking about Jesus calling his disciples. And today he is calling Matthew to be one of the 12 people that traveled around with him and watched all the amazing things that he was doing. Jesus was in Capernaum, and he was walking along when he saw a tax collector named Matthew sitting at his tax collector's booth. Tax collectors were hated by everyone because many people thought they were cheaters and sinners. Oh, not like you. Ugh, let's get out of here. But Jesus saw this man and said, follow me and be my disciple. Me? Yeah, you. So Matthew got up, left everything and followed him. Later, Matthew held a banquet in his home hey, yes. with Jesus as the guest of honor. Uh, you're here. Oh, thank you. Many of Matthew's fellow tax collectors and other guests also ate with them. Ah, yuck. Hey, you! But the Pharisees and their teachers of religious law complained to Jesus' disciples, Why do you eat and drink with such scum? Uh, hold on there. When Jesus heard this, he told them, healthy people don't need a doctor, sick people do. Then he added, now go on and learn the meaning of this scripture. I want you to show mercy, not offer sacrifices. For I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners. So Matthew went on to be one of Jesus' 12 disciples and followed him throughout his time on earth. He even wrote a book in the Bible about Jesus' time on earth, and he served God for the rest of his life. We're going to sing again now, 
So we're going to sing one, two, three, Jesus is alive. little bit of prayers we are going to hold our, out our hands like this and we're going to say Jesus hear our prayer. So first of all we're going to pray for the church both in Greenwich and our church and around the world and we're going to pray for all its leaders and everyone in God's family in the church. Jesus hear our prayer. And then we're going to pray for the world. We're going to hold out our hands like they're a world. And we're going to pray for everyone who is who is having a difficult time at the moment, um, particularly because of the virus and for any other things that we need to pray for in the world. And we pray for Lebanon and particularly for Beirut at the moment. And we say, Jesus, hear our prayer. And then we're going to pray for our place. We're going to pray for Greenwich. And we're going to hold out our hands like they're hovering above the earth. And we're going to pray for Greenwich. And we're going to pray um, for all those who are having a difficult time. And we're going to pray for our community and that people would look after each other um, and that everyone would be safe and happy. And we're going to say, Jesus, hear our prayer. And when, then we're going to give ourselves a big hug, um, like we were hugging someone else. And we're going to pray for our friends and family that God would be with them. And we're going to say, Jesus, hear our prayer. And then we're going to put a hand on our, a finger on our cheek as if we were crying a tear. And we're going to pray for people who are ill who, who, or who are having a difficult time at the moment. And we're going to ask God to bless them and say, Jesus, hear our prayer. And then finally, we're going to put a hand on our hearts and pray for ourselves. And let's just take a moment. If there's anything you'd like to ask God for, then you can do that now for yourself. And then we're going to say, Jesus, hear our prayer. And then we're going to finish with our special Amen. So we say together, Amen.
And now we are going to sing our quieter song now. We're going to sing Praise to You. <laughs> Activity. So shall we see what it is today? Today for our craft activity we are going to need some paper, possibly coloured paper, some a paper plate, some scissors and a prit stick and what we're going to be doing is making food to stick on to the paper plate. So we're going to draw on our coloured paper or white paper our food items and then we're going to stick them onto the plate. So you can use coloured paper um, and then you just need to cut it out and stick it on or you can colour it in yourself. So some felt tips for that would be helpful as well if you'd like to use them. Because we are thinking about Jesus calling Matthew to be his disciple and Matthew was a tax collector and tax collectors weren't very popular um, because people thought that they were ripping other people off. They thought they weren't very nice to other people. But Jesus called everyone to be his friend. If they'd done bad things in the past, Jesus said, stop doing that bad thing and come and be my friend. And he gathered everyone together. He wanted to eat with everyone. So as a reminder that Jesus calls us to eat with him, we are going to be making plates of food today. So I'm going to start by drawing on my yellow piece of paper, I'm going to draw a banana, which I'm then going to cut out and put on the plate. And you can draw any kind of food you like, if you want to draw food that you especially like. So I'm just going to have a random selection of food that I like on my plate. So I've drawn a banana, now I'm going to draw some chips. And they don't really go together, but they both taste nice. So I'm going to draw these chips, little bundle of chips there on the plate. So those are my two yellow things. So I'm going to cut those out. But you can really choose anything you'd like to eat whether it was something that people ate in Jesus's time or not. I don't think people meant, spent a lot of time eating chips when Jesus lived. Okay, and I've cut out banana. I'm going to pop that onto the plate and I'm going to arrange them at the end and stick them down. Now we've got uh, chips, yummy chips. I'll cut 
cut around this. There we go, nearly done. Right, let's uh, pop the chips down on there as well. And uh, next, what am I going to draw? I think I'm going to draw, oh, I'm going to draw a bit of chicken. I mean, it's a bit red really, but you have chicken, sort of a long bit of chicken, like a leg or something. And actually I'm going to take my felt tip and I'm going to colour in just a little bit, maybe just round, round the edges. That's chicken. There we go. And I'm going to cut this out. And then I'm going to think about what to draw next. Maybe an apple to go with the banana. Let's have a, a look. So we've got chicken and chips and a banana. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have them all on the same plate. But that's a great thing about paper food. You can just choose whatever you'd like. I'm going to colour the apple on top with my red pen. to colour in, nice red apple, there we go, Need to cut that out, but you can have lots of fun with this, you can let your imagination run wild, any food that you can think of you can add to your plate as a reminder that Jesus always wants to eat with us he always wants to be with us and eating together is one of the big signs of community and something that Jesus said was really important All right there's an apple and then well I've got a purple one it's gonna have to be grapes I'm gonna draw some grapes see lots of grapes about when Jesus lived so this is quite accurate grapes there we go maybe draw just a leaf or stalk or something and add that all right okie doke so we've got our grapes so, and you can spend lots and lots of time doing this, or you can just do something quite rough and ready. It's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna cut that stalk bit off because it just looks weird. And there we go, some grapes. And then let's see, right, we've got one more piece of paper. So what are we going to do on this? Oh, I think, I'm going to do a piece of cake. So let's draw a piece of cake. Nice gatto kind of cake. Maybe with a cherry on top, a glacé cherry and some buttercream icing in the middle. The sort of cake you only have as a treat. There we go. Does that look like good, good cake? And I'm going to colour the cherry in red, like a glacé cherry, and decide what kind of icing is going to go in it. I don't really have a good icing colour apart from chocolate, so I'm going to go chocolate, chocolate icing in the middle there, and then maybe pink icing on top. The great thing about imaginary cakes, you can go wild with colours. So yeah, have some pink, pink, very pink icing on the top. And then I'm going to cut this out and pop that in the middle. And what a plate of food that is. Or you could add things like fish or bread 
Um, you could add baked beans or a fried egg or all sorts of things, maybe a bit healthier than my plate. Lots of cake and fruit. And you wouldn't really want it all mixed up together. There we go. Right, so I'm going to use my Pritt stick to stick it all down. Maybe I'll put the chicken and the chips next to each other. There we go. There's the chicken and the chips. And then have a cake corner. There we go. And a fruit corner, but you can do as much as you want and spend lots of time making it all look very beautiful as a reminder that God calls us to be his friend and wants to eat with us and calls all of us to be with him and share community with him. And there you go. There is our craft for today. So we're going to finish by saying the grace together and we're going to end with our special Amen. So the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And we are going to blow out our praise and play candle. And we will be back next week, Thursday at 10 o'clock on Facebook and YouTube. So join us again. And in the meantime, have an amazing week. Bye bye.